You know, we're coming up in 2020 and I saw this story and you know, a lot of times people make some decisions and you know, when I'm looking at this, you know, I definitely care about the health, you know, of, you know, brothers and sisters definitely here in America and different things that they're doing to us and putting our health at risk. So they say there's a lot of, you know, hair products that people are using, but they have a new study that came out by the national Institute of environmental health sciences. They published a study suggests that women that use hair dyes and chemical straighteners are at increased risk of developing breast cancer over those who don't. So they were analyzing the data of an ongoing study of 46,709 women who had a sibling diagnosed with breast cancer and research found that those who routinely use permanent hair dye were 9% more likely to develop the disease. The hazard was much higher for African American women among black women who use permanent hair dyes every five to eight weeks. Researchers saw a 60% increased risk of breast cancer compared to 8% to their white peers. So if you're coloring your hair, you have a 60% increased risk of breast cancer. Now, why is it that white women? Now that's something that, that I really, we need to definitely look into why white women have an 8% risk, but black women have a 60%. What chemicals that is detrimental to black women's health, but white women is not as bad, but it's still at risk. So they say the team found no significant increase in the risk associated with semi-permanent or temporary dye use. Okay. So if, it, if it's semi-permanent or temporary, then it seems like you're okay. Now say over the years, they say studies have linked between hair dyes, chemical straighteners and cancers. However, the results have been inconsistent. Now they said that the report, uh, the research used data from the study called the sister study, I said, which examines medical records and lifestyles from over 46,000 women from ages 34 to 74 and had a sister affected from a life threatening disease. So the survey had asked the women about the use of hair dyes and straighteners. Those who use the products regularly about every month or so had an increase of getting cancer. The study shows that chemical hair straighteners also cause a concern for ladies who use it every five to eight weeks, upping their risk of cancer by 30%. And say, though the cancer risk of straighteners didn't vary by race, about 75% of black women surveyed in the study straighten their hair or relaxed it. Once again, we know a lot of the pressure with black women's hair or straightening the hair comes from the white racist system that we live in. If you have natural hair, it's frowned upon. Locks, con rolls, whatever it may be, so their pressure to put in, if they have natural hair, I know sisters who put on wigs when they go to work, but they take their wigs off, they have their natural hair underneath it. And I'm like, well, why y'all doing that? You know, cause I even talked to some of my family members about that. It, 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 and they said that it's pressure when you have the natural hair. It's very discriminatory. That's why I say the micromanagement of black people, even down to our hair is sickening in this country. And complete is all complete based in racism. It has nothing to do with your job performance or anything. It just white society do not like to see black hair. Say for the chemical straighteners, they said the big concern was formaldehyde. Okay. Which is known as a carcinogen. Carcinogen means cancer causing. Okay. As they said, question remain about suggested links. Now I say, according to the NPR research, unsure the ingredients in the products that could be harmful. Anything that's a carcinogen. I've had a background in petrochemical. Okay. Carcinogens is something they really protect the workers from, whether it's benzene, um, butadiene, all kinds of things like that. They, they have chemicals and they make sure the workers are protected with full face respirators, uh, self-containing breathing apparatus, you know, the SCBAs, like you see with the uh, divers may wear just to hook up hoses with these products, wearing full rain suits with ro rubber, gloves taped up, rubber boots taped up on the pants, just to handle that. What a hard hat, safety glasses, all that they have just to handle these products that they're putting inside of the chemical straighteners. I would say that 2020 coming up, I would suggest if you don't have natural hair, go that route. I would suggest to go that route because it's better for your health. It's a health aspect. I understand you may deal with some issues on the job. I would say, do like my cousins say, they have real nice, you know, wigs. They look real nice. Invest in some of them if you got to, but have your natural hair, have it. Because 
It is better for your health all the way around. And when you do the research, natural hair grows down the back of black people, no different than any other race when it's in a natural state. When you're putting the chemicals in it constantly, you're increasing your risk. They have formaldehyde in this, which is a known carcinogen. Why increase your risk? Why increase it? Now they said a temporary or semi-permanent um, hair dye. They say there wasn't no risk in those are the permanent ones where the risk lies. So maybe you can go ahead and look more into that. But we just definitely here, you know, on you know our channel, want the brothers and the sisters to be healthy and know what these people are doing to possibly take you out. See, I, we know that racism, you know, it has many layers to it, and racism do affect our health. Because maybe if it was so freaking racist about black people's hair, maybe black people wouldn't be doing certain things like this. They're doing to the straighten their hair. Okay. So we know now that it's causing a, a increased risk of breast cancer. We need all the sisters here that we can in society. So think about that 2020 go natural. I even told it to a cousin of mine yesterday. I said, Hey, 2020 go natural. We don't want to see no more of that 2020. And then the other, you know, the other cousins like, yep, I'm natural. I'm natural. Everybody was talking about they natural. I said, because it's better for your health at the end of the day, buy the nice wigs if you need to while your hair is growing out or whatever, or you got to go to work and you can't, you know, I don't know your situation at work, but go natural 2020. That's what it needs to be. But leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about this particular story about the cancer that you could possibly get, um, from the chemical straighteners and permanent hair dye. Please don't put your health at risk. Um, research into these things because you need to be here for your children, your husband, um, your family, etc.